what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're talking about scream 6 mostly in this video today and going over this chasing footage that was released from the jimmy kimmel show last night where courtney cox was a guest also share my thoughts on some comments she made that kind of let us know what you could expect going into scream 6 involving gail's character so just to kick this off with welcome to dairy really quick so this was reported and confirmed all last week by the hollywood reporter i believe now this is stuff that many of us have already been talking about online you've seen people like myself and other creators talk about this series because it's on its way to hbo but hbo max has a series officially titled welcome to dairy on the way to the network or to the streaming platform it's officially received a straight to series order and this is going to be coming to us from andy muschietti we know it's a prequel to this the two Stephen King movies that he already has made and the Hollywood Reporter put out an official word about this last week. Now, Andrew Muschietti and Barbara Muschietti and Jason Fuchs or Futch are on board for the Pennywise prequel project from Warner Brothers Television. Andy Muschietti will direct multiple episodes of the series. Now, last time a lot of us were saying that there was a report that he would direct the first episode now this new report that came out to officially confirm the show is moving forward as planned and got an official series order states that andy muschietti will direct multiple episodes of the series including the very first episode we know variety put out this report last year that the series will begin in the 1960s in the time leading up to the events of it part one the 2017 film based off the stephen king horror novel and the reports have also started to come out this was last year that this series is going to be a pennywise origin centric story with a new group of losers we will be centered on prior to the ones we met in these first two movies that we know we got in the year 2017 and 2019 so jason fuchs and brad caleb kane will serve as co-showrunners for the prequel series this again is coming out in this latest report but it was something that we were already reported on last year and what Andy had to say about this in the statement, he says, as, as teenagers, we took turns reading the chapters of Stephen King's It until the thick paperback fell to pieces. The well, Both Muschietti said this in a statement. It is an epic story that contains multitudes far beyond what we could explore in our It TV movies or, or in our It movies. We can't wait to share the depths of Steve's novel and all its heart, humor, humanity and horror. So. I know several of you guys are excited about this. Some of you who do not like what they did with It Chapter 2 are looking forward to seeing if this prequel can kind of wash away that bad taste that It Chapter 2 left in your mouth. This is the closest thing we'll get to It Chapter 3 as it pertains to those two Andy movies that we got, again, not too long ago. I cannot wait to see how they all come together to produce this quality show that I know it will be. However, we still do not know if... Uh, if the original, not the original, if uh, Bill Skarsgård will be back as Pennywise. So hopefully he returns. But we'll find out soon enough because they're supposed to start filming rather soon. But we're going to talk about Gail Weathers and this chase scene footage that dropped. On the Jimmy Kimmel show, there is a new look at her chase scene that dropped. And it looks pretty good in terms of how it was edited, the way the music was. There, We got our first listen to what Brian Tyler has cooked up this time for the score. And... How it starts off is you, hit, you they're on the phone or we see a shot of Gail on the phone. Ghostface tells her, looks like you're not going to be able to stop this. So, of course, prior to that, she's going on about how she's going to probably stop Ghostface once again. Stuff like that. You know, talking about how he's like the 10th person to try this and it's not going to work out for you. That probably led up to the comments of I'm going to stop you or we're going to stop you. Then he says, well, it looks like you're not going to stop this. And then it looks like her assistant, boyfriend, whoever that person is in her apartment gets thrown through uh, the furniture, I'll say, <laughs> or cabinet, I'll also say, like we've seen in the TV spot, the trailers. But we get an extended look of what happens after that. Ghostface steps out from behind where he's been thrown. The music starts swelling up. It's like a grand entrance of Ghostface. You get a shot of the boot stepping out onto the floor like, yes, I'm here and I'm about to fuck you up. <laughs> And then we transition back to Gail's reaction. Ghostface starts jumping over the furniture, chases her into the kitchen. Gail picks up a frying pan, smacks Ghostface in the face with it, gets him down on the knee real quick, quickly recovers. He chases her out to the balcony and the clip ends. And the way it was all thrown together, I see so many people saying it reminded them of Scream 2 and the first Scream. And in some regards with the music, I see where you're coming from. What I'm really just excited about, though, is how this sequence seemed to just be well 
edited, how it continuously seemed like it was flowing very well, felt very fluid and not like it was constantly breaking continuity because there's some instances in Screen 5, I'll bring up one in particular, when Sam is stabbing Richie, a simple scenario like that that has like countless cuts all at once over this one single thing she's doing to Richie. I'm like, you have way too many cuts here. So I was appreciating all the improvements I was seeing in this clip. I can't wait to see it in its full capacity next Tuesday or this upcoming Tuesday, I should say. Well, less than seven days almost at this point. But uh, just to talk about her comment she made about Gail. She said that when it comes to the script, she doesn't like to read past she doesn't like to read past once her characters kind of been left out to find out if they live or die and she didn't say that exactly but it's basically the gist of what she said she said that once her characters out of the story she doesn't like to read forward to continue to see if they live or die now what that indicates to me is whatever happens to gail in this in this sequence she's also made comments about gail getting stabbed multiple times or somebody be, being stabbed multiple times i'm assuming she's alluding to gail it seems as though this sequence is going to go down with us getting the vibe that she died, but then you'll find out that she lived. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like anybody who doesn't come across this video will probably go into it more surprised than others, but it's safe to assume, I would imagine, she's going to have some type of screen two moment like Dewey did, and then ultimately in the end, you will find out that she survived. You won't have her reappear in any way after she's done for in that attack to really sell the death which i think is a brilliant choice to really pull at our heartstrings but then you give us a sigh of relief later on when she pops up or when someone else confirms that she lived it's just the way that courtney was wording herself that makes it seem like that's exactly what's going to happen it doesn't sound like gail will be involved in the third act it doesn't sound like gail is going to be reappearing after her attack sequence and the way she decided to word things saying she doesn't like to read forward after her characters and to find out if they live it sounds like we're going to get an answer to whether she lived or died after the attack but the attack could actually make it seem as though she died in that moment then you get a sigh of relief with a different bit of news to make you all excited after you got done crying perhaps depending on who you are <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so you can never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video